Hey, what's going on guys? This is Line, and today is video day number 125. And for today's video, we're going to be doing um, some bone tool rigging. So it's the, this tool over here for the M key. And real quickly, I'm just going to go over uh, creating a character. So we have our layer down here, layer 1. And uh, using the brush tool with the letter B, as you can see, I let it hope it shows up with the mouse over, B. So I'm going to go and create a... Uh, uh, character. So let's say it's like a fly or something. That's a really awful looking fly, but okay. I did it. And uh, let's give it some green eyes. Whoops. K for dropping colors into a um, area. And boom. And um, so and then with the V key, we'll select all of this. Hit F8 and uh, name this uh, whatever you want. In this case, I'm going to name it Flyhead. Okay. And then, of course, uh, we need some fly wings. So let's uh, oops, eyedropper tool, grab that color there, use our brush, and make a wing over here. And um, We should also fill that with like a certain color too. Alright, so we'll do a little blue. Alrighty. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And name it wing. And we'll bring that to the back. So the hotkey to bring something to the back is control and then down arrow. You can bring it forward uh, with control up. So control down goes to the back. And we'll Control C and then Control Shift V to paste in place, and it pastes on top. I totally forget what it is to flip the graphic, uh, not timeline. Modify, transform, flip horizontal. All right, and then Control back, Control down. I mean, all right. So now we've got three objects, our three movie clips, and so now we're going to take the bone tool. You can hit B or you can click on in the toolbar, and all you have to do is click on the uh, place where you're going to be connecting your bone items and bloop there we go actually I wonder if I could adjust that I'm going to send this one to the back actually probably make it a little easier for me to see my wings so bone tool and then whoops that didn't work M so M and connect and click and drag oh silly goose gotta bring this one to the front come on come to the front oh it's because I use the once you use the uh, armature apparently it goes to the back that's slightly annoying uh, alright so we'll do it for this one and the other one moves to the back so let's see what we can do um, let's make this partially transparent so we can see behind it. Um, alpha. All right, cool. That's fine. And then we'll put it back on afterwards. So now we're just going to connect the two pieces, and then we'll turn the uh, body back on and bring it to the front. Can we? Okay, so we've connected the two pieces. All you have to do is click onto the main piece and then click on the other pieces. And now you could just move your uh, movie clips that you made to animate. It's pretty simple. So here's my fly, and we're going to go to another frame. Uh, click in it. See, you'll see that the. Um, the timeline scrubber doesn't move, or the current timeline location doesn't move. You have to click into an uh, unused area. Hit F6 to enter a keyframe. Um, and then you can move your wings up and down. Alright, and then we'll do the same thing again. 
go over here and boom so now if we uh, hit enter you can see our wings are animated using the bone tool so that's a quick uh, tutorial on how to use the bone tool and ringing in Adobe Animate CC hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe and if you have any comments please post them below the video thanks that's news for now and I'll speak to y'all tomorrow bye bye